So we, we're talking about the X7, what's the X9? So the X9 is the brand new scanner just come out about a month or so ago, a couple months ago. Um, it's the same exact scanner, just a longer range. I usually like to talk about this one more. It's a mid-range scanner and has more use than that longer range does. A a AKA cheaper price than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually not a whole lot cheaper. Uh, I say a whole lot. It's fifteen thousand. This one's fifteen thousand dollars less. Yeah, I was gonna say twenty. Yeah. But it's a um, that longer range scanner. It's, this one's a five hundred thousand points per second scanner, so meaning it's spitting out five hundred thousand beams of light per second. The X9 is a million points per second scanner, so it's shooting out double that. Um, that range scanner uh, for a competition, you're talking one hundred thousand plus. Mm -hmm. So Tremble's on that lower end on the price range when it comes to that price uh, for that longer range scanner. All right, so I've uh, started a new project. I've got it connected to my scanner. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to its parameters down here. And this is where it's gonna tell the scanner uh, you know, how I want it to perform. Um, and it's just giving me a, 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 a message down here that says low range uh, capture, uh, just give you a heads up that hey, it's lower density and that range is gonna be much shorter than a typical range. So I'm gonna uncheck that because I don't wanna do that. We're just gonna do a low level scan in here. And I'm gonna turn the images off just because it's full post process. And I wanna show you guys how we can do a, um, a, a, pick, a scan uh, box after our scan where we can do an area at a, uh, specify a specific area to rescan and we can do it in color so we can look at that. All right, so I'm gonna do a low level, have images off, all that looks good. So very simple in, in your setting. And I'll go back and I'll show you the different settings here quickly. Uh, so we have low level, you're talking a minute and a half scan, and basically on the average per scan here, you're gonna collect about 12 million points uh, in a low level scan on average. Uh, and again, that depends on how much reflective objects are in your, in your space. If I've got an open room, I'm probably gonna be less than 12 million. If I've got you know, a classroom, a lot of desks, computers, everything else, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have more than 12 million probably. But on average, you're gonna get about 12 million. Uh, medium is a almost four minute scan, and you're talking about on average about 58 million points in that scan. You can see as I increase, that file size is gonna increase too. And then on high level, that's a, a, six, a little over six and a half minute scan, and you're talking about 125 million points per scan on average. Uh, this tablet, these tablets are Windows tablets, so they're running Windows Desktop Pro on all of them. Uh, but this tablet in particular only has a 256 gig hard drive. If I do a bunch of scans on high, I'm gonna eat up the memory on this thing. I'm not gonna be very efficient. So I'm always gonna work in low to mid range and then use that high density scan or that high range when I need some very high density in that area. And typically you're not gonna need high density um, depending on what you're scanning. If I'm scanning a mechanical room and I'm worried about the smallest conduit or wiring or anything like that, I may run one or two high level scans just to get extra data, but still for the most part, I'm probably sticking to medium range. It's gonna give me everything I need. So then why, why, why build the, the computer for less than its capability that the most So computer? we do have another tablet. Um, it's, a, it's got a one terabyte hard drive. It's got an i7 processor and a pretty good bit of RAM. So it can handle that more than this one can, for sure. This was the first tablet that came out with it. So I'm the trainer, I get stuff with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I'm gonna go back to my screen here, and the hardest part of this whole process is he so I hit the start button. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> what would the range on that X9 be? This one is 300 uh, feet. What would the range on that? So X9? that one is. I have to look it up. I think it's 800 feet. 800. I know it will go out, I want to say it'll go out 320 meters. That's, that's Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Like, I don't want to walk all the way down and take five miles. It's empty sometimes, actually. All right, so what it's doing, see the blue lights flashing? So right now it's auto leveling. And well, actually, it's doing a free scan. So if you look at the screen here, it's telling us the blue bar at the bottom. It's doing a free scan calibration. So what it's basically doing is turning different directions, and it's actually taking a shot. So it's taking angles to make sure everything is uh, shooting correctly. And so it'll do that pre-scan calibration before every scan. If it fails, it won't scan. No, which is, is good, a, actually a good thing. Is that off satellite um, imaging? It is not, no. So how big is this geo, uh, is this? So if, it, if I wanted a geo reference, uh, I would need to shoot in some type of target to have a coordinate tool. But in this case, I'm going to let it do the same. We're just going to accept whatever position it's in. Now it's scanning. So it does a free calibration and an auto level. And now it's going to start scanning, which is what it's doing now. So the blue light's flashing means it's scanning. Once it's finished scanning, if we had the images turned on, the, uh, it would then flash white light. And then once this one's done, we'll turn around, we'll do a quick window scan of the verbiage on the back wall. So you guys can see what that looks like. And I'll, I'll do that in color so we can see the color, colorization of the imagery. So now that's transferring the data that it just collected to my computer or will be the tablet. That's where the Wi-Fi communication comes in to play. Uh, not just radio signal, but also a data transfer signal. You can see the lights are green. So if I was ready to move the scanner, I could now move it even while my computer or tablet's still processing data. That's a smart survey. Yep. Very smart work. So th this, this replaces how many people, how many days? <laughs> It, this could this could replace a group of people, honestly, because you're probably going to have two or three or four people out on the job site taking measurements and sketching the space out. Uh, this is a one-man operation, um, and so. So do you need to sketch it now? With this? No. You might pull your tape and take a few measurements just for verification, but and so. so